Okay, so setting up the warble is actually quite easy on an Android. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the form at the warble website and type in sound font in the search and then click to search it. And then in this thread right here, Android OS, you can download the sound font. Uh, scroll up, it's the second one, and it is this link, the warble.xyz sound fonts. You click on that and it'll download. Since I've already downloaded it, I'm not going to do it again. And then once it's downloaded, you wanna to go to the Play Store, download uh, Fluid Synth. Fluid Synth, which I already have installed, so I'm not going to download it again, but that's the app you want to get. I don't know about any of these other apps along the bottom. I haven't tried any of them. So it's just, this is the only one I've tried and I know it works. So once that's installed, you want to go to the Fluid Synth app. And once it opens, click on the three bars up on the top, go to settings. And then the middle option here, sound font, you can download the sound fonts that come with the app, which give you different sounds that you can play around with. Or you can go to select. And then select, you want to go to your download folder and then click on your uh, the sound font that you just downloaded. And you want to make sure use internal sound font is off when you do this. So once that's selected, you click back. And then you click these little dots up here and select your warble. And I usually uh, click send to program. I don't know if that's necessary, but then you should be able to play the warble. And that is how you get the Warble working on an Android. Pretty easy. Now, if you also wanted to play around with some of the other sounds, um, let's see. Download, um, let's go with just general user. So now that the general user is downloaded, it is now selected in the middle. So now let's click back. Let's go back to the Warble. And this drop down menu has all types of sounds you can play with. So let's just for the fun of it, pick something like the xylophone and you have to hit send a program or else it's not going. So if you don't hit send a program, it's just going to play you the piano. You hit send a program and then so that's fun. Uh, let's see, just for the fun of it, let's go to harmonica. Send a program. Those little cuts in sound are me. I'm I moved my tongue and it cut off the airflow so it just stopped making noise. That's something I still have issues with when I play with this. Uh, like I said, there's just so many different sounds to play with. Violin, send a program. So just, it's a lot of fun to play around with all these sounds, but honestly, when I'm practicing and playing Tin Whistle and trying to learn a song, I obviously want to select the sound font that was created for this. So that's what I end up using to play my warble. All right, so I almost forgot. Um, we got Fluid Synth up and running. So, you know, the whistle's playing. Turn up the volume a little bit. Okay, so the whistle's playing, and now we want to go to the Warble website, and up at the top you see Configure Warble. Click on that, and you'll see that it is already connected to the Warble. 
because I have it plugged in already. So, you know, we'll just, it plays. Now you can adjust some settings. Um, I like having the slide and vibrato, uh, bleh, slide and vibrato on. Um, I haven't really played around with all that a whole lot. I unchecked the left thumb and the bottom hole along with the bell note hole because I don't need those for the tin whistle. So I just have the six main holes. I have overblow on, um, force max velocity. I haven't really played around with any of these controls. And so, yeah, so anyway, I basically just have this set up the way it comes. But what I wanted to show is that, so if I just play a D, that's what a D sounds like. Now let's select a B flat whistle. So you got yourself every whistle you could ever imagine now because the warble is that awesome. I am so pleased with this purchase. It makes me so happy. So I was on D. I will probably, well, let's try a G. Let's see what a G sounds like. So there's a G whistle. I mean, I just love the fact that I can play any key whistle I want. I can even bring it down to a low D. And then I could even save the settings, and then every time I start up my Warble through Fluid Synth, it will always play in a low D. But since I like to learn new songs, and I always like to play on a D whistle, I just leave it as a high D. So here's the Warble. See if you can hear what I'm trying to play, or if I can even play it. So yeah, that's the warble. Hopefully you were able to hear that.